Hi and welcome. Uh, I'm here with this wild man. He's a Londoner actually, am I right in saying that? Yes, indeed. So this gentleman um, spotted me. Or did I spot you? No, or did I you spotted spot you. You sure? Okay. So here we are on the Sunshine Coast and every Saturday morning I shop at the Kiwana Markets and I was walking along, going about my day, shopping, and this man says, are you a yogi to me? That's what you said, isn't it? Yep. Long story short, he's ended up in my kitchen. It's amazing how these things happen. It is, yes. So Pete actually is a personal chef. He, tell us about the restaurant that you worked at in London. So I did two years at the Fat Duck with Heston um, in Bray. And uh, yeah, that's where the foundation of my training started. And then I became, on, I became a personal chef and started cooking for people in their houses. Awesome. So whereabouts were you doing this? Is this in London or? I worked in London for a period um, and then I worked for one particular fam family who flew me all over Europe. Um, Saint Moritz, Saint Tropez, um, Zurich. We went all over, private jets, helicopters. Um, it was quite extravagant. Awesome. Quite the life. Cooking for this family. Indeed, yeah. Awesome. So tell, tell us, what are we going to be making here today? Well, today we're going to be making a tandoori lamb, a little cucumber riata. Mm. I'm already excited. Fantastic. Are we nice gonna, and simple. Um, so we want to keep it simple because we're a yogi community and we're mm. pretty health conscious. And so tell me um, some about the, maybe some of the health benefits for the yogis. So I haven't gone for loads of carbs with this particular dish. Um, and just very clean, fresh, tasty, which is going to give you some protein and... Um, you're going to feel good afterwards, you're going to feel light, you're not going to feel heavy like you've had a big bowl of pasta mm. or something like that. That's it. Love it. You will need a teaspoon of tandoori paste, two tablespoons of Greek yogurt, lamb cutlets, some mint, a cucumber and a lemon. Okay, so we're going to take the yogurt and the tandoori paste. Two tablespoons of yogurt. probably a teaspoon of tandoori paste and we're going to mix those up. Like so. Mm. We're going to take the lamb and drop it inside. This is looking all very easy Pete. It's super easy. Now if you want you can use chicken. You could use a chicken thigh. No problem at all. And all we're going to do is let that marinate for 24 hours. Beautiful. So what's next, Pete? We're going to make the garnish now, which the lamb is going to sit on, with the cucumber, the lemon, some Greek yogurt, a little bit of salt and pepper, very simple. Mm. Okay, so we're going to take the ends. I love that this is so simple. Got to be you know? simple. Yeah. A lot of what I do is very, very complicated. But people don't want to do complicated at home. No. They want to employ me to do that. That's right. So when I show you how to do something, nice and simple, make it easy. So we're going to peel the cucumber. So when you peel the cucumber and you get towards the middle, we're going to get to the seeds. We don't want the seeds. So we're going to turn the cucumber over the other way. And then just the edges. Like so. Anything green just looks so pretty. Okay, then we're going to drop the cucumber into the yogurt. And we're going to microplane a little bit of lemon. Tell us about this microplane. So microplane basically is the tool and it's called microplane. I've seen a lot of copies. I've used copies. Nothing works as good as the microplane. And basically... Um, the blades, mm. the tiny little blades, ultra sharp, and you've got different tools for different things. Like they do a wider one for Parmesan. Yeah, right. Just makes things look really beautiful. As well, as if we can mm. get a close up on that, you can see that's just taking the edge of the zest. The white is actually bitter, you don't want the white. Okay, there we go. And then just a little bit of salt and pepper. To taste, really? Basically, you want the salt and pepper just to taste, um, just to lift the flavour a little bit. Beautiful. 
Then we're just going to mix her up. Too easy. So the lamb is actually going to sit on top of this. Absolutely. Beautiful. Like, it's like a little salad basically. Yeah. So what you've got is the hot and the cold. I quite like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And then you've got the texture of the cucumber and the texture of the lamb, creaminess of the yogurt. And it's nice for any time of year. Any time of year. Okay, so we'll put the pan onto the stove and turn the heat up to a medium high heat. We've got a roasting tray here. This is my chef's tip. It's a tin foil. And a little bit of baking paper. So when we finish cooking, we remove and this goes back into the cupboard and there's no washing up. All right, but what we're gonna to do today is cook this lamb on a little pillow. All right, so in the pan, olive oil, just a splash to coat the bottom of the pan. And you can see that's hot, so we want it hot. We don't want to put it in a cool pan because it's just gonna sit there and not get any color. We're gonna take our lamb, and remove a little bit of the sauce. We're gonna put the lamb into the pan. Just gently, because we don't want the oil to splash onto it. The reason that we put the pillow into the tray it's just in the oven. If we put it straight onto the tray, you've got aggressive heat from the bottom, which is going to overcook the bottom of the lamb. So with it sitting on a pillow, the heat comes all around the lamb and cooks it evenly. Okay, a little bit darker than I wanted, but just with the charring, it will give some good flavour. We're going to turn the lamb onto all sides just to seal off. Then turn the heat off and place the lamb on the pillow. We're going to put it in the oven, probably for about 15 minutes at 180 degrees. Now we're at the, um, at the serving bit, which is I think something that people get a little bit nervous about. They do, and I always say to people as well, this is the fun part of cooking, right? This is like if you're gonna sit down and paint a picture and you've mixed all your paints, you've got it all ready to rock and roll, and you're ready to do it. Well, this is, your mise en place is here, everything's cooked. Don't rush this part, mm -hmm. okay? And always enjoy this part. Take a breath, right? Tender lamb, let's do this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first of all is Chop up the mint nice and fine, okay? But you want a sharp knife for this. You don't, you don't want to be using some blunt old thing because all you're going to do is squash the mint. We want to be cutting the mint, okay? Because we're going to use some of this for the garnish, all right? Now what I did, I've just looked at plating this up and I thought it needs a little bit of colour. So I've got a piquillos pepper out of the cupboard. We're going to remove the seeds, right? I don't like any seeds in anything. It's a big statement. Can I say especially in the uterus? You've said it. No, I did that twice. It's cost, cost me my life. <laughs> All right, here we go. Well, I always prayed for women, and I got two girls. Oh, how good is having two girls? I've got two girls as well. Yeah. That's great. It's punishment for something I've done terrible previously, I'm sure. So the lamb, we So take... yogic. Oh yeah, I'm yogic, all right. You need to come to more classes, I think. Do you think so? Yeah. All right. You only come every other day, don't you? How often are you coming in? So it depends on each week. Yeah. You know, some weeks I'll do four, and then on the busy week I'll just get to two, but then I'll try and do half an hour an hour by myself. Beautiful. Try. So what, like time. online with Lauren Verko, for example? When I get that, yes I will. Good. When I get that. <laughs> okay, so here we had the cucumber and the lemon. Just sat there in the fridge. Now what we're gonna do is just drop the mint into the cucumber, like so. And the reason we add that mint at the end, because otherwise it's gonna go a little bit brown, 
a little bit dark and it will be bruised from where we've moved it around, okay? So that's why we've added it at the end. So the lemon zest is just going to give it a little bit of freshness. Probably a little bit much altogether, but you see, you rush all this now and that's going to be dropping all over the place and then you're going to be wiping the plate, okay? So we're just going to take our time. All right, put those there like that. A little bit of meat. It's how you do it, Pete. You see, I'm enjoying it, right? Mm. I'm just taking my time. A little bit of piquillo pepper. And the trick is as well, it's not too much of the garnish, right? You put too much on, it doesn't look so good. So I'll spill this all over the bloody place. And then we will just go. A little bit of yogurt there. 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 What do you reckon? No wonder they had you cooking right in their fancy homes in the UK and Europe. Pete flying you, what, helicopter and aeroplane? Private jets, helicopters all over Europe. To yeah. people's private homes to cook Absolutely. food. Like that? Similar to this. Yeah. Thanks for coming. You're welcome. Namaste. Been a pleasure. Thank you.